In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create performance metrics inside of your Zoho CRM system. I'll be explaining how to create KPIs, targets, how to gamify the experience, how to create a TV channel, how to create teams and also dashboards and I'll be covering all of this inside of this video. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you are signing up to Zoho CRM for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. There's one for the US if you are based in the US and one for the EU if you are based in the EU. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system, of course, you're going to come to the home screen. Now we need to head over to the motivator area. So to do so, go to the cog in the top right hand corner, then go to the general tab under setup. And then you can see here we have the motivator. Select that and as you can see, this is the screen that we will come to. This is where we can track KPIs, targets, things like that. We need to press the access motivator as it is in fact a, a, like a platform outside of the Zoho CRM system, but it links directly into the system. So as you can see, we are on the motivator page where we can manage KPIs, targets, game, uh, TV channel, which I'll come on to in this video, teams and dashboards as well. So first off, let's go ahead and create a KPI. It's really, really simple. Go to KPIs on the left hand side, press the create your first KPI button. And obviously we firstly need to give our, key, our KPI a name. So I'm just going to call this deal amount and I'll come on to why in a moment. So this is a KPI for our deals. So we now need to select the module that this uh, particular KPI applies to. Now it's really good to see you've got a great selection of modules inside of your Zoho CRM system. Obviously you might manage cases and KPIs for cases and things like that. In this instance, we're just gonna use the deals. And then we've got record selection. So this will be more applicable to targets, but when is this, When what are the deals based on? The closing date in the period, the created time in the period, the last activity time in the period, or the modified time in the period. I think closing date in the period and created time are probably the best two. So I'm just gonna leave it ticked. And then we can select which records the KPI would be applied to. So we've got a choice of obviously all deal records, or we can just select records that are matching certain criteria. So maybe it's a, a value or an amount with more, more than X amount, or just, it could be anything. Obviously, if you select records matching certain conditions, you've got all the fields, and then you can say equals, does not equal, contains, does not contain. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, unless <laughs> that could take a little while. You can have a play around if you'd like to. And then we've got points computation. So we've got two options here. We've got set points per record. So that is obviously the count of deals associated with that particular user. So you could just say for each deal there, there it is equal to one point or 10 points or 100 points. Or you could use the value of fields as points. Now, I really like this. I would probably go for this nine times out of 10. You can use the value of the fields. And I think the most common one is going to be amount. So essentially, if you've got a uh, a £5,000 or $5,000 deal, then that is going to be worth 5,000 points. And then if you've got two $5,000 a $5,000 deal and a $2,000 deal, then the KPI is going to show 7,000 points. Okay, so you can see how that would work. Um, it's up to you. You can just set points per record. It depends, obviously, what you are trying to track. And then finally, we've got point recipients. So who gets the points for the KPI? So is it the person that created the deal? Uh, the person that owns the deal or whoever modified it. And obviously this is going to depend on how you sell as a business and how the Zoho CRM system works for you. But I would probably nine times out of 10, again, go for the deal owner. I think that just makes the most sense. So once you're happy, just press the save button. As you can see, we've created our KPI. You can manage KPIs, um, the modules and the KPIs, and you can just select uh, see KPIs for certain modules this month, next month, and um, you can just see the information. So let's say you only want to see the the amount today, or the or the number of points for this week, or this month, or this quarter, or you could do custom if you'd like. And again, you can show your company user team, create additional KPIs, and we've got the cog, which is just basic settings. Now moving on from KPIs, we then have our targets, which is obviously going to use KPIs and then we're going to set targets based on the way that the KPIs attract. So if you press the create your first target button, we now need to give our target a name. So let's say I'm kind of going to make this up, but 10,000 
um, deal amount. So we're essentially saying 10,000 points is the target per month, let's say. I don't know. And I, <laughs> apologies for the poor name I've given, but you kind of get the idea. You need to then select the KPI that this is going to be um, based on. So obviously the deal amount that we just created, that is going to be our KPI. And then we need to select the period. So daily, weekly or monthly. So like we said, deal amount, maybe I'll add that in the name as well. This is our monthly 10,000 deal amount monthly. Um, and then we can select the target for. So it's going to be on a monthly basis. The target is 10,000. And then we need to select whether the target is for the company, for a team or for individuals. So uh, as it's individuals, I'm going to select individual, select the user. So that's going to be myself. And then, like we said, we need to put in the target. So the target is 10,000. There we go. And then you can add additional uh, targets. So you can say there's a company target of like, uh, could be anything. Let's say you want to hit a million in annual revenue or sorry, a million in monthly revenue or 100,000 in monthly revenue. Or maybe you've got different targets for different users. This is where you can kind of create that. It's very, very clever. And finally, we can also assign badges. Now, this is obviously quite exciting. We've got a level five badge all the way to a level one. Now, based on the way they look, I'm going to assume the most paid basic one is level five and the best badge is level one. So you could say if you hit your target, you get a level five badge. Maybe you create additional targets and they get a level one badge. It's up to you. Let's just go for level five for this particular target. Press the save button. And now we have got our target created and you'll be able to see all the individuals for this target and how they're doing on the old points and obviously the amount of uh, money that each deal is uh, worth is directly associated with the points and then again we've got all kpis deal amount we can see the um, uh, different users company user team we've got the duration so daily weekly monthly and again we can create targets if we would like to now, moving on from targets, hopefully they made sense. We've also got games, and this is a means of gamifying the sales experience, making it a little bit more engaging. Obviously, this is uh, very, very useful. Um, it makes it a little bit more enjoyable. So in order to create a game, just press the Create Game button. We can give it a name. So I'm just going to call this Deal Amount. So there we go. So it's very similar to a target, to be honest. If you then select the KPI, so this Deal Amount is going to be the KPI, and you can have multiple KPIs if you like. And then you can select the game type, so is it individual or team-based games, and then select the users this is going to apply to. And then we can select the duration for the game. So if we say it starts at 8.30 and ends at, um, I don't know, it could be absolutely anything, let's say by 12 o'clock. So you could literally have a case of, okay, you need to make X amount of calls. So you could create a KPI for the number of leads that are contacted or something along those lines. And then you could say, right, between this time and this time this is how many and it, you, this is how many calls that need to be created and you kind of create a game a little bit of a competition out of it and then you can repeat this game every day week month or every number of days if you'd like to and then you can select any viewers so any people that can follow the progress of the game without actually being a participant of it so it's quite clever you can see what's upcoming in the completed games as well unfortunately i can't save this as i if i press the save button it will say there should be two participants in the game fortunately it's not a solo mission <laughs> so i can't i can't save it but i just press the cancel button hopefully you get the idea behind that and then we've got the achievements area and this is just going to show you the number of um the, the number of medals like we spoke about for the targets that have been given out and the number of trophies things like that so who's won trophies how many trophies they have got Moving on from the achievements, we've got TV channel. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is this, but it's actually a really, really clever feature. Essentially, I'm sure you're all familiar in the sales department, you'll have a TV with all the sales that are going on um, and you can track them live and it always makes it a little bit more fun. This is essentially the same thing. You create a TV channel. If you press the plus button, you can select whether you'd like KPIs, games or targets to be shown. And then you can select which one. So let's say we're going to select the 10,000 deal monthly target. Select the type. Is it user, team or company based? Obviously, the target was user based. And then we can select the users. So we can see everyone for this particular target. Or And then you, as you can see, if you press the preview button, it will full screen. And this is what they would see on the TV. So it's, it's quite cool. You'll be able to see, obviously, let's say I just did a, a £500 deal. I'd get £500 for 
the or 500 points for that deal and then it would obviously slowly fill up um, and it would transition and what you can do so if i press the save button so i'll just call this example channel you can set the transition time so it would change screens every 5 10 15 seconds um, i can imagine that would get, be really quite fun quite enjoyable and then finally down the bottom left hand corner here we have teams and this is where you can obviously just create your your own teams um it depends how you want to do that obviously it depends on how you sell as a business teams are obviously really good i think people strongly recommend teams of three are the best way and you can kind of mix and match and draft your team so maybe you've got a weaker salesperson that can learn off a really good salesperson that, that is why you create a team and then add users give the team a leader and then you can give them a logo as well if you want so it's very very simple and then like like we've just gone through the kpis the targets etc you just create them for teams as opposed to individuals so i'll just press the cancel button now hopefully that is very very self-explanatory you can always edit teams whenever you want switch people in and out like changing the drafts or the the transfers between different teams and then finally up the top here i know i said finally for teams but we've actually got dashboards you'll be able to see uh, just kpis targets things like that just give you an overall insight into the motivator and how everything is going on inside of the sales or whatever you are tracking it could obviously be leads absolutely anything and if you see at the top here user drop down menu you've got the different um different views you could create multiple dashboards you could have a, a deals dashboard a leads dashboard and uh, maybe you are doing a kpis or targets for uh, cases and solutions as well so you've got all of those different options there and then once these are saved you'll be able to go back into your zoho crm system manage your deals and then come onto the motivator area Area, put the tv channel on and watch the competition go and make it a little bit more enjoyable it's very very fun hopefully this video has been of value um, and i'll see you in a moment's time hopefully you are now all set to use all the different metrics across all the different modules inside of your zoho crm system if you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful please consider giving it a like possibly even subscribing if you have any further questions at all you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.